So I decided to turn on the camera and just kind of film some new things in the garage and projects I got to kind of work on and address. So in previous video, this was a case swap that I did for a customer and he wanted something a little more blingy. We put some RGB fans in there and the whole RGB strip. It was an HP Z440 and we popped it in here, did a dedicated video for it. And guys, this is why I always preach on if you're going to do computers for people, take care of them. You take care of them, they'll take care of you. Well, he was fortunate to get himself a nicer, newer gaming rig and calls me up and says, hey, do you want this thing? I offered him some cash and he was like, nah, you can have it. I was like, sweet. So now I have my old Z440 K-Swap computer back in the garage. So the plan that I'm thinking about doing is, is actually um, stripping this out. This is a real good, uh, this is a good power supply. So I can actually repurpose the power supply. The graphics card was a R7350X, nothing too fancy, but could be used for a potato build. I think I had a one terabyte storage in here. And did I pop in an NVMe or an M.2? Yeah, because it has that um, that HP turbo thing, whatever it's called. It's right over here. So I think I have a one terabyte in there. So that's good to have. It has ECC memory, which is kind of limited to what I could use, but kind of falls into plan with this computer. So let's get started and let's strip this thing out first. So I'm going to use my favorite Craftsman screwdriver. It's the whole electrical one. Charges up, works really good. So let's get this stuff out. Let's see if we could try to do some of this one-handed. Now, like I said, mostly I'm gonna part this out. I am gonna keep the motherboard, CPU, cooler, I mean, everything in here. As far as the case, I think I'm just gonna retire her. It is too big. I've had this case for a long time. It's hard to sell. I might put it up on the marketplace as one of those come and get me. So that might be the plan for it. Now let's see if I can get this graphics card out one handed. Which, cool, we're able to do. And like I said, we got a one terabyte in there, which that's pretty cool. I've been actually building a lot of computers and a lot of these computers, um, M.2, especially if you go with uh, six gen and newer, M.2 is just the way to go. Saves room, less cables. I just like doing it. I am gonna keep this card though because uh, you can actually run a M.2 on a computer that doesn't have it, so that actually works out pretty cool. So let's keep stripping away. Make sure I have everything put away properly and try not to break anything. Now folks, don't judge me too hard on my cable management with this one. Um, this was one of those things, sometimes, yes, I'm big on cable management, but sometimes I'm in a rush, you know, you, you just don't have time to get around to it. I mean, I did use like maybe one or two wire ties, but I'm big on cable management, but sometimes if you're on a time constraint, which I believe when I built this one, like the customer was coming within an hour, I was not going to worry about it. And besides, you wouldn't see it. No wires were damaged or too taut. I think that's the correct word. So, yeah, we're just going to kind of cut this away. And yes, I do have the correct, uh, you know, snipping tool to do this. I just, <clears throat> I just don't know where it's at. I think it's time to reorganize the garage as, you know, in case many of you didn't know, I've been out for a little bit. The whole back thing was definitely no bueno. So, um, when you're not able to do things, you kind of just, well, yeah, tuck things away that are easy and convenient that don't require bending like so, lifting or twisting. At least that's what the doctor says I wasn't supposed to do. So, yeah. But I promise we'll have the right tools and we'll get squared away and back together. So let's get back to dealing with this rat ratness and um, continue stripping. The computer, that is. So I got it all stripped out, empty, and I actually posted it on the Facebook Marketplace. And would you believe that within like 15, 20 minutes of uh, posting it, I actually got a hit off of it. I just posted it for like 20 bucks because, well, it's something to somebody if they would have said, hey, I'll give you 10 or just give it to me. I probably would have done that. But I just posted it up for $20 and somebody messaged me and they are actually on the way to pick this up. So that's pretty cool. This is a cool case, but it is really big. It is hard to sell if I was to sell on the computer and even giving it away. I mean, not too many people want a monster case just like this. So hopefully it's going to a good home. Maybe I'll get to chat with the guy. Hopefully he'll let me turn the camera on and uh, give me an idea of what uh, 
projects he likes to do. I kind of like to see what the other people got going on in their design. Some people do some crazy stuff, and uh, it's actually kind of cool. As far as the parts, well, we got a graveyard. Well, graveyard is probably not the best term, but this motherboard, got a motherboard, CPU, graphics card. I am going to rehome this. These Z440 motherboards, it's like the X99. I'm bad at remembering stuff like that, but I think it's like an X99 variant or something so like that. Performs very well. You pop in something like a 20 series card. I've even seen people throw 30 series and, you know, they work pretty good. Definitely, uh, I enjoyed it when I actually used it for a little bit. So that's pretty cool over there because, you know, we still got the power supplies. And these mechanical drives, I keep them. They seem to last pretty long. I think this one was like a four terabyte that we have popped in there. And like I said, we got a one terabyte M.2 that uh, he had when he, um, uh, I think he had upgraded himself or something to that effect like that. I know I had a 256 SSD, but he put in a one terabyte. So at least I got one of these. And of course, keeping fans because, well, you know, he did not have too many fans. I got a box down there and in the uh, one of the other guest rooms. I got a bunch of fans in there. So pretty cool. And just like that, we got room, probably for more computers. That's cool. So these are pretty awesome and they're actually a blessing. I had a viewer reach out to me and um, talking about uh, one of my uh, Dell pro projects. I think it was the Optiplex 7050, 3050, whatever one it was, but it was the one that I made it look blue and um, a pretty cool project. And through email, uh, he mentioned that he had these, and these were um, uh, HP Z640, Optiplex 7050, or is it 7050? This is 7040, and he was like, hey, do you want them? And I was like, yeah, sure, absolutely. Never say no to a free computer. Number one, free parts, something to tinker around with, something to do, and it's fun. But also, it is a blessing in the sense that around this time, as of filming right now, when the, I think it's the 1st of December, and I actually have some people that need some computers and unfortunately they're not in a place where they could get something better. Um, one guy is rocking a uh, Xeon with his kids and stuff like that. Not a Xeon, a Core 2 Duo with his kids. And yeah, DDR2 and it's really slowing. Uh, it's really showing its age. So um, got a home for this one. This is going to be going to him for Christmas and uh, very thankful for that. Got another person that uh, needs a computer, and that's what we're gonna do with this. And I'll do two dedicated videos primarily for these and um, just kind of show them. This one is actually pretty cool, actually, looking at it, the Z640. So, we'll do some dedicated videos, maybe do some mods, but in the cases of these, they're not primarily geared towards gaming. They're mostly needing something for more office admin, but their kids are getting into it. So, if we could pop in a graphics card that um, could, you know, let them get their feet wet with some. I don't know, Fortnite, Apex, uh, some other games, whatever the kids are playing nowadays, definitely be a blessing. So to the viewer that sent these, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, definitely a blessing to a family this Christmas season. So now doing the unboxing of it, just kind of showing, they also sent uh, alcohol wipes, but these are fantastic for cleaning uh, heat sinks and thermal paste. Got two power cords and this, uh, PCIe 8 pin to 6 pin 180 degree adapters these are actually really good to have especially for like these small ones over here because the um, if you do swap out the power supply like I talked about in that video that I did the power cable sticks out a little bit much which could be a little aggravating but if you have those these work really awesome in that they could come in from a different angle especially on this like Z640 if you have a wide graphics card could come to contact with that but those definitely resolve the issue so great to have awesomeness and my kid is definitely going to love it because, you know, bubble wrap. Who doesn't love bubble wrap? So kind of going through the garage and other projects. This is a one that actually came out today and it's doing pretty good. And this is the HP 600 G3 that we did some modding on it. And not sure what to do with this one yet. I kind of like it. I kind of like having it set up. It's a cool, uh, cool little piece. So I was going to sell it, but I held on to it and I kind of do that. But I also think I might have somebody who's in need of one. So that might be the plan for that one. And I have this one. Uh, this one, we're going to do some little experiments. Uh, one of the videos about pulling out the graphics card and the way to do it. Considering that this is an old Xeon and it's probably worth like maybe $5 total for all the parts. Um, we're going to tinker around with this motherboard. Probably, you know, do some things to it to that should be sketchy. And I would not recommend, but... You know to kind of show something and you'll see that in a later video in this case ain't going nowhere 
Love this case, this Lee and Lee one. So might do a modern build, see how well it performs with temperatures and what kind of graphics card we could put in there and all that kind of cool stuff. So yeah, I got a bunch of projects in the works. And then this one right up here, that uh, acrylic, Let's see if I can zoom you in. Yeah, definitely got to do something with that. Not sure yet, not sure if I want to restore it and uh, maybe go retro with it or I'm thinking about just doing a modern build. I think a modern build might be cool with it, but I just don't want to do it as is. I just want to add some flair to it. So I don't know, back and forth on it. And um, you guys could chime down below and let me know what your thoughts on it. So kind of a quick update video and a thank you video to, primarily to the viewer and also to the um, customer who gave me that other computer because um, now we got computers for projects. And the biggest thing is, is that I'm very thankful is that um, the channel has gotten to the point where um, I really don't have to deal with selling. One thing I hate is selling computers because negotiating people just, you know, they flake on you. They say, oh, yeah, I'll pay this amount for it. And then sometimes they don't. And it, I don't know. It just becomes a headache. It's just easier to say, hey, you need a computer? Take it. You know, that's kind of cool. And that was kind of my goal was starting this channel. So I'm going to get started, put all this stuff away. Hope you kind of enjoyed this video. Not one of our traditional ones. Usually we do something more involved, but you know, every now and then it's just kind of, you know, fun to turn on the camera and just kind of talk about what I do in the garage. So thanks for watching and uh, let's see what we come up with next.